everybody, it's Kathy with Create with Kate 56. Um, I hope everyone's doing well today. Today I'm going to do a couple of quick tutorials here. Um, number one, I need to make some witches brooms. So I thought I would um, show you how I do this in case anybody's doing anything Halloween-y. And also, um, I want to show you how to make the drippy candles that Tammy B makes and you can buy them now through Tim Holtz um, he has them already made but I didn't have them and I was working on something and I thought well I'm, I'm just gonna go by Tammy's tutorial so it's uh, Tammy B and her blog is plays well with paper so she's on um, Tim Holtz's um, design team and she comes up with some wonderful wonderful um, Pieces. It's just amazing what she, what she does. So, um, so okay, let's get started with our broom. Now, I've already started this because it takes a minute. I mean, not a real long time, but a little bit. And um, what I use is this twine I got at the Ace Hardware. It says it's 63 millimeters. I don't think it matters. Um, so what I have is five... I think it's five pieces here. Um, I've done all of them, but this last one, so I can show you how, how to do it. You just like untwist it. It's, this one only has like two, two strands to the um, string or whatever you want to call it. So what I do to get this apart is I just put it all in a binder clip to hold it all together and then I just start raking through it with my pokey tool. Now I suppose if you had a real fine comb that would work as well but you know I can't be bothered to get up and go searching for things as <laughs> I get in too much hurry. I get an idea and I want to just go crazy with it. So basically that's it. You just get it till it's all fuzzed out like that. Throw away this little excess here. All right, I went out and I got some sticks. I thought they'd be cute for broomstick crooked. Um, I have used like a real skinny um, coffee stirrer sticks as well, but this works. I think this will um, look a lot cuter. So I'm going to take this from my clip. And then I have this, and I have no idea. I think I get this at the dollar store. This is very fine, thin twine here. So I'm just going to cut a little piece off. I'm going to lay this on my broom stick. Kind of spread it around a little bit. I lay it down like that and then I come up higher and I start twisting so that way when the um, the end won't come out it'll just stay there now let's see which way do I want this to go yeah that'll work so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of Three and one here, and stick that down. I had to turn on my glue gun for the next project there real quick. Sorry about that. And you can just hold it there. You can put a little clamp on it. Which, let's try that. sat and held it the last time so okay so now we got our broom now do you want the the bristles of the broom to be that long I don't think I do I think probably right about there would be good so I'm gonna just snip that off and there's our little broomstick 
So as soon as that glue gets dry, it's done and ready to go. You can fluff it out some more. You could, um, you know, tease it a little bit more, get a little more, you know, ratty looking, however, however you want to do it. But basically, that's it right there. So we got our little broomstick. So yeah, that's easy. Let me move this. Okay, now let's make some drippy candle. I got a piece of um, paper here. It's it's just cut off of a eight and a half by eleven sheet. I, this is eight or eight. Oh, good lord, um, eleven inches, and this is an inch and a half. And what I found this pokey tool, I tell you, is my lifesaver. I think sometimes. Just get that like that and run your paper over it so it's you know starting to decide it's gonna curl up and that helps along the way. Now you can make these as tall as you want, you can make them as fat as you want, you know, whatever you decide you want to do. And you just start rolling this up. I just can. Like that just came loose a little bit. Here we go. So we're gonna roll, roll, roll. Just push the end back down as you're going. After a little while, you can take out your pokey tool, and that rolls up really nicely. bit of my whoopsie glue here this is barely art glue I thought I'd give it a try I saw some people using it and they seem to like it um, it's a little thinner than art glitter glue excuse my arm just put my pin back in but it holds very well and it dries really quick so it's a good alternative, especially in the winter time, because you can get this shipped in the winter. It won't freeze. Well, it might freeze, but it won't hurt the glue. Whereas our glitter glue, they usually don't ship even in the winter time. All right, I got my little candle. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Um, this wouldn't be the one I would use, but. Um, you can get some black thread and before you roll it up you'd stick this inside and then you would have your little wick coming out but I found at Joann's this um, flower pick it had a whole bunch of had little pumpkins and it had yellow and um, orange color little whatever these are supposed to be on there so what I do did decided to do you could these are pretty orange but you could um touch them with a little alcohol ink I think yellow and that would make them a little more realistic I cut them off pretty short because after it gets past this end here it's real loosey goosey and kind of hard to press into the glue Let's see if our hot glue is ready, and it is. Good deal. First thing you want to do is get yourself a little mound of glue on the bottom and stick your candle right in it. That was a bit too much. Let's pull some of this out. And you can also trim this with a... Um, knife or scissors when it's done too if, it, if you think it's just too big i'd squirt a little glue right there in that hole 
And then I stick my little, I don't know what you call it, bud or whatever. Then you go start on the top. Now, normally I would have made this bigger, but squirt your glue. And what, I'm sorry for my head if it gets in the way. Around the top, kind of bring it down and just go down the side of your candle. Let me get my glue stick stuck in there. There we go. And you can just do it at different. different size of drips. You have big fat drips. You have the skinny ones. You can have them go all the way down. You can have them stop halfway. Sorry about my head again. It gets there. And yeah. So just make your little drips however you want to have them. And I'm going to put a little right there. Okay. That's it for the glue gun. Off. Just lay it back here on my mat. We're gonna let this dry a little bit. Hope everybody's doing good. We're having a, a little cooler day today. We're gonna be in the 70s, unfortunately. Well, I shouldn't say this because I know there's a lot of people that just love fall, <laughs> but it's you know. September, what, 9th, and um, yeah, I guess we can expect these things, but I want my summer back. <laughs> I love the summertime. Um, yeah, so it's it's been kind of nice. At least we can shut off the air, which I, you know, I'm not a real big fan of, but um, my husband likes it, so we I got the air shut off the other day and had the windows open, and it's just been really, really nice. Still a little bit tacky. Let me let it dry. I guess while that's drying, I'm going to mix up just a little teeny bit of paint here. Because when it's done drying, then we can give it a little bit of paint. That was way too much. This is just a, I think it's taupe. Just uh, Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint safari taupe is what that's called and this is just delta cream of coat white acrylic paint so and let me pause a second while I get my um, paintbrush okay I'm back while I was gone I used my sorry about that used my um, heating tool to kind of melt the, the strings a little bit. So let's mix this up some. Let's see. Yep, that's pretty good. So, just take your paint, get it up close to your thread or your little pot or whatever it's called. Only tricky part. You don't want to get it on your on your wick or your flame or whatever you want to call it. Then you just hold down. Leave it um, stuck to your mat or your surface, whatever your your non-stick surface, whatever you're <clears throat> using here. While you're painting, it makes it very easy to do. Let's take 
go up to make sure we got everything covered. My head is probably in here and you can't see a thing I'm doing and I do apologize. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll paint it up, let it dry. You can hit it with a little bit of um, <clears throat> Distress Crayons. Um, you know, just give it a little schmear, look, make it look like it's dusty or, you know, it's been hanging around for a long time. And that is it. So a couple of really quick little tutorials here. I hope you um, learned something for them. I want to thank all my subscribers for sticking with me. And also all my new viewers, welcome. And I hope you like what you see and you might want to follow along. And if you do, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications for when I do new videos. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye.